India is the largest democracy in the world. We all know that people are the ultimate source of power in a democracy and its success and failure depends on public awareness. But how do we understand democracy? Democracy is defined as a government of the people, by the people and for the people. It is considered the finest form of government in which every individual participates consciously and in which the people remain the sovereign power determining their destiny. Delhi is the capital of India. The city is a symbol of the country's rich past and thriving present. It is a place that not only touches your pulse but even fasten it to a frantic speed. It is considered to be the home of immense opportunities. With the increase in population, the number of electors have also increased. Today we have 147 and 86,182 voters in its 70 assembly constituencies of Delhi. We all know that the logistics of organizing the elections are truly mind-boggling. But the Chief Electoral Officer Delhi has always accepted the challenge and has succeeded in conducting free, fair and credible elections. Delhi being the national capital, uh, an election in uh, the end city of Delhi becomes uh, a focus of the whole nation. So election in Delhi that way is a very important election at whatever level it may be taking place. In general, the uh, law and order situation was a bit challenging. We had to be very, very vigilant. The first step in the electoral process was to interact with the stakeholders. The chief electoral officer held several meetings with the district election officers and security personnel. The formal process for the elections starts with the notification, calling upon all assembly constituencies in the National Capital Territory of Delhi to elect their candidates. In pursuance of Section 30 and 56 of the Representation of the People Act 1951, the election schedule was announced on 6th January 2020 by the Election Commission of India. As per the schedule announced, date of notification 14th January 2020, last day for making nominations 21st January 2020, date of scrutiny of nominations 22nd January 2020, Last day for withdrawal of candidatures, 24 January 2020. The date on which a poll shall be taken, 8 February 2020. Date of counting, 11 February 2020. The date before which the election shall be completed, 13 February 2020. The final contesting candidates were 672, out of which 593 were male candidates and 79 were female candidates. As soon as the dates for General Assembly election were announced by the Election Commission of India, the Model Code of Conduct had come into force. Election Commission of India's Model Code of Conduct is a set of guidelines issued by the Election Commission of India to maintain level playing field and to govern the conduct of political parties and candidates during elections, mainly with respect to speeches, polling day, polling booths, portfolios, election manifestos, processions and general conduct. We all know that the electoral process requires the service of lakhs of people. They are deputed from other departments on deputation for a fixed period to assist in election. It includes civil officials and police forces. Approximately 90,000 government employees from several departments were selected and 89,779 were deployed during the electoral process at various positions during Delhi Legislative Assembly elections 2020. This huge election machinery is deemed to be on deputation to the Election Commission of India during the election period. The employees deputed on poll duties are trained in all aspects of polling process. During the training programs, the polling officials are trained regarding poll duties, election laws, process, filing of paperwork and operation of EVM VVPAT machines. In 
electronic voting machines or EVM are now used in all elections. On 14th August 2013, the Government of India amended the election rules to permit the use of voter verified paper order trial VVPAT system. In the present Legislative Assembly elections, due to well-executed management plan, VVPAT failure was reduced from 12.04% in 2019 Lok Sabha election to 2.20% in the Delhi Legislative Assembly elections 2020. As per the provisions of Election Commission of India, postal ballot facility was extended to service voters, absentee voters and voters on election duty, enabling them to cast their vote. Special care was taken to ensure all election officials are able to cast their vote. Taking benefit of the facility, 4,118 service voters, 33,789 voters on election duty, 2,257 senior citizen voters, 429 voters with disabilities and 19 voters from essential services cast their vote through postal ballot during Delhi Legislative Assembly elections 2020. Media Monitoring Control Room was set up at the office of Chief Electoral Officer in Delhi to get immediate feedback from the venues. An expenditure cell was also created to monitor the expense that parties and candidates make during their campaigning. As per the available data, total seizures done by law and enforcement agencies during Model Code of Conduct from 6-1-2020 to 12-2-2020 is Rs 55 crore 35 lakh 50,170. A special initiative to increase participation of transgender in the election process was implemented through sensitizing them about voting rights and organizing special camps for registration and issuing voter IDs to them. It sent a positive message and many of them came out to vote. Transgender bill जो pass हुआ उससे हमें काफी अधिकार मिल चुके हैं जैसे कि आम पब्लिक में हम कुछ भी घूम सकते फिर सकते हैं मुझे बहुत गर्व की बात है कि मैं दिल्ली में होके एक वोटर लिस्ट में मेरा नाम है और मैं बहुत खुश हूँ मेरा नाम सकीना है और जैसे पब्लिक भोट देते हैं ऐसे हमारा भी हक है और मुझे बहुत खुशी की बात है कि ट्रांसजेंडर के लिए सरकार आगे जाके सोचेंगे हमारे लिए द इम्पैक्ट ऑफ द एफर्ट पेड ऑफ Total number of people in this category who voted during Delhi Legislative Assembly election 2020, 340 out of 869. Along with this, efforts were made to include homeless people in the electoral roll who did not have a home and stay in night shelters. Systematic voters education and electoral participation, that is, Sweep. Sweep is a program of multiple interventions through different modes and media designed to educate citizens, electors and voters about the electoral process in order to increase their awareness and participation in the electoral process. Sweep is designed according to the socio-economic and cultural profile of the district as well as history of the electoral participation in previous elections. There were around 30 constituencies which recorded a low turnout in the Lok Sabha elections 2019. A special awareness campaign called Turnaround 30 was organized at these locations and the effort paid off. There was an increase of 2.7% in the voter turnout in these locations during assembly elections. In this election, an aggressive sweep program under the theme of Dilli Ka Dabang was launched to create voter awareness. All the possible outlets and platforms were used to motivate all sections of voters. Six eminent personalities were selected from different fields of arts and sports and entertainment and designated as state icons and were roped in to spread the message of voter awareness. Cultural programs were organized at various shopping malls located in different districts which included performances by different troops and personalities. 
several locations which had lower voter turnout witnessed special awareness campaigns with streets plays, skits, dances and quiz shows. T-shirts with message and other gifts were distributed to winners during the event by the officer from district election office. People were also given demonstration on the use of EVM machines. Voter awareness is a very high priority uh, subject for us uh, because any election is successful only if there is uh, enough uh, electoral participation uh, and uh, the uh, key themes of uh, uh, this election as given by the Election Commission of India were uh, uh, inclusive election that every section of the voters should participate in the election accessible election that those uh, who uh, have uh, some disability uh, uh, they uh, sh they should not face any inconvenience in participating the election and uh, then uh, the third important theme is uh, uh, ethical election uh, that means uh, the election campaign uh, should be compliant to the uh, model code of conduct and uh, if there is any uh, deviation any violation then due action uh, should be taken uh, for such violation. Information technology has played a significant role in all spheres of life. ECI introduced several mobile apps such as Voter Helpline app, PWD app, C Vigil app, and Voter Turnout app for voter empowerment and information dissemination. A call centre was entrusted with the task of managing the toll-free number 1950 to answer all the grievances or information regarding their names and location of polling booths. Sea Vigil is an innovative mobile application for citizens to report model code of conduct and expenditure violations during the elections. Through the app, a total number of 13,536 complaints of varying nature be it campaigning during ban period, property defacement, religious or communal speeches, display of firearms, gifts or coupons, liquor, money distribution, display of posters or banners without declaration or permission were received, out of which 12,678 complaints were found to be correct, 12,124 cases were resolved within 100 minutes of lodging of complaint. The Chief Electoral Officers, Delhi, held briefings for the mass media, print and electronic channels on a regular basis. The entire requirements for EVM machines were established and were stored at secured locations in the districts. Before the polling day, all concerned presiding officers were handed the EVM VVPAT machines along with other necessary stationary material to their respective polling stations. This exercise was conducted at select venues where the EVM was stored. The teams were given transport facility and escorted by security officials to their respective venues. This year, special effort was made to include centurions and help them to vote. Under this program, a license officer was assigned from office of the returning officer to each of the centurion voter whose job was to contact their families and meet them, request them to participate and also fix the time to pick them at their convenience on the day of voting. Booth level officer along with volunteers on the day of voting went to their house and escorted them to their respective polling booths. A special provision was made at polling stations to help them vote quickly after which they were facilitated with a flower bouquet as a goodwill gesture. To keep the memory of their participation, photographs were clicked. Those who could not go were given the option of voting from their homes. A team of officials went to their houses for voting through postal ballots before the polling day. This facility was also extended to senior citizens this year. 82 centenarians voters exercised their right to vote and six of them voted through the postal ballot facility extended to them. This year, the polling officials were required to stay at their polling stations one day before the election to give them enough time to sleep before they start their duties next morning. We decided that uh, the polling officials, all the polling parties 
should be given uh, all the polling materials including the EVM and VVPAT on the previous day that means P minus one day we call it uh, and uh, then uh, allow them to go to their polling stations on in the uh, evening and set up the polling stations. Uh, they will have enough time to set up the polling stations and then uh, we arranged their night stay there. Uh, we requested the municipal corporations and other local bodies to arrange uh, to make good arrangements so that uh, they do not face any uh, inconvenience and uh, uh, all the polling officials uh, they stay together so they, they get uh, a chance to know each other, to develop that team spirit, to assign roles and also understand the strengths and weaknesses of each other. Also, uh, you know, have discussion on uh, specific uh, issues uh, relating to the conduct of election next day, uh, have their, their doubts cleared. So, all the uh, this opportunity uh, they could get because we decided uh, that they should stay overnight. Everything is good. No, Bistar, Bistar, okay? Yes, Bistar is very good. Which school is this? This is Government Girls Senior Secondary School, Dilshad Garden. Dilshad Garden. On 8th February 2020, all the venues were ready. As per the guidelines of ACI, a mock poll was conducted in the presence of representatives of different parties to ensure proper working of EVM VVPAT machines. This is important feature of elections in India which is always conducted for fair and transparent polls. After the mock poll, the machine was sealed again in the presence of polling agents of candidates and then the process of polling starts. It was a cold morning on 8th February 2020, but people started queuing up outside before the time set for polling. At 8 am, the gates were opened and people were let in after checking their credentials. All the electors had many options to prove their identity besides the Elector Photo Identity Card EPIC for exercising their right to vote at the polling station. The polling time was fixed from 8 a.m. in the morning to 6 p.m. in the evening. कि एक स्वतंत्र भारत के नागरिक होने के नाते हमारा ये फर्ज हो जाता है कि जो भी पांच साल के बाद जो इलेक्शन होते हैं उसमें हमें बहुत सावधानी से हमें अपने इस अधिकार का प्रयोग करना चाहिए क्योंकि पांच साल के लिए जो सरकार आती है जनता की उससे बहुत सारी आशाएं होती हैं तो उन आशाओं की पूर्ति जब भी हो सकती है जबकि हम एक अच्छे नुमाइंदों को चुनकर हम पार्लियामेंट में या उसमें भेजें लेजिस्लेटिव असेंबली में One model polling location was set up in each of the 70 assembly constituencies covering 307 polling booths all the booths were managed entirely by women staff the idea was to deliver the message of festivity and to create water-friendly environment. The hallmark of all women polling stations was the pink color themes such as pink decoration, pink dress by women staff etc. Each constituency added their own innovative idea to decorate the polling stations and enhance the joy of voting amongst electors. One another initiative that we took in this election and which was widely appreciated uh, by the voters at large, apart from, apart from the media, and about which we received a lot of uh, uh, congratulatory uh, messages uh, from many, many quarters, uh, was the special polling station that we set up. Uh, in each of the 70 constituencies, we set up one uh, whole building, one whole polling location as a modal polling location. Each model polling booth extended facilities which a person would need, which included medical counters, crash, waiting room, toilets, drinking water, etc. All the venue had signboards depicting the way for all the facilities as well as polling rooms. My name is Rukmini Singh. I have come uh, out to vote here 
and i can see that the elections are happening quite smoothly the process is very smooth and uh, this time the election com uh, commission has uh, campaigned really well about the fact that they providing facilities to senior citizens very well um, there are pick and drop facilities and there are wheelchairs and it's very smooth and i urge everyone to come out and vote voting bahut important hai for every citizen to exercise their right and कॉन्ट्रीब्यूट टूवर्ड्स नेशन बिल्डिंग दिस इज़ अ वेरी स्ट्रॉन्ग टूल जो भी आप गवर्नमेंट जिसको भी आप अलेक्ट करना चाहते हैं आपके मुद्दों को देखते हुए उसमें आप इसी तरीके से कॉन्ट्रीब्यूट करके अपनी बात आगे कह सकते हैं ईच वोटर इज इम्पॉर्टेंट एंड कैन कॉन्ट्रीब्यूट इन द इलेक्ट्रल प्रोसेस वन ऑफ द सिग्निफिकेंट फीचर्स वॉज द इंक्लूजन ऑफ स्पेशल पी डब्ल्यू डी बूथ वन स्पेशल पी डब्ल्यू डी बूथ वॉज सेट अप इन ईच डिस्ट्रिक्ट these were managed by pwd's staff only another significant gesture in this legislative election was pick and drop facility to people above the age of 80 and pwd voters decorated e rickshaws and other modes of transport were arranged to help them come to the polling stations and cast their vote in the delhi legislative assembly election the state of the art pick and drop facility was designed The total number of 597 electors availed the pick and drop facility. Again feedback taken from them by calling at random 343 electors out of which approximately 87% rated it good and very good or excellent. Aur ye election jab shuru hui Hindustan mein to pehli election mein bhi maine vote diya aur aaj bhi deta aa raha hu aur mere bete ne aaj kaha ki tumne sanskar diye aise mujhe main tumhe leke jaunga. तो इसलिए मैं आज पहले सबसे पहले वोट देने आया हूं सिमिलरली स्पेशल प्रोविजंस वर मेड फॉर पीडब्ल्यूडी एंड डिसेबल्ड एट ईच ऑफ द पोलिंग स्टेशंस सो दैट दे कुड इजीली एक्सरसाइज देयर राइट टू वोट अप्रोक्सिमेटली 3875 व्हील चेयर्स वर मेड अवेलेबल एट वेरियस पोलिंग स्टेशंस इन दिल्ली वॉलंटियर्स लेस देन द एज ऑफ 18 इयर्स वर प्रोवाइडेड बाय द डायरेक्टोरेट ऑफ एजुकेशन जीएनसीटी ऑफ दिल्ली These volunteers were deputed in the Delhi Legislative Assembly election 2020 to facilitate the PWD electors and senior citizens 80 plus years. In 2006-88 polling booths, 7518 volunteers were deputed in this recent elections. Election commission ne bahut suvidhaye di hai. Isliye hum 93 years ke yahan aake vote kar sake. ये उम्र में भी हमें हो डालना आसान है कि इतनी इतनी फैसिलिटी दी है बुजुर्गों के लिए कि करके हमें बहुत अच्छा लगता है बिसाइड्स दिस स्पेशल फैसिलिटीज वर एक्सटेंडेड टू विजुअली इम्पेयर वोटर्स लाइक डमी ब्रेल बैलेट शीट्स सर्टिफाइड बाय सेक्रेटरी सोशल वेलफेयर और कमिश्नर डिसेबिलिटी A special kit was prepared for visually impaired voters. It contained voter assistance guide in general and in braille, photo voter slip, general and in braille, poster 3 containing do's and don'ts in braille, poster 4 containing guidelines for how to vote in braille. Delhi ke mukhya nirvachan adhikari Shri Ranveer Singh ji un sabhi ko badhai deta hu ke unhone vigyapan ke madhyam se यह प्रयास किया है कि दिव्यांगजनों की भी समाज में जो है मुख्य भूमिका हो इससे जहां चुनाव व्यवस्था में सुधार होगा और दृष्टिबाधितों और अन्य विकलांगों की भागीदारी होगी वहीं समाज और राष्ट्र को ये समझने का अवसर प्राप्त होगा कि देश में दिव्यांग लोग भी होते हैं One of the most important factors in the polling process is security arrangements. The local police and paramilitary forces were deployed at each step from training centers to polling stations to counting centers. During present assembly election, 190 companies of paramilitary force, 19000 home guards, 42000 Delhi police personnel and 30000 other security staff were deployed. for free and fair election a lot of young voters exercised their right for the first time they were quite enthusiastic and vocal about their participation and were keen to share their experiences with us 
I'm very happy while giving the vote because I get to know what's my responsibility towards the country and to choose a person who really needs to lead us and our country. Votes सब को देना चाहिए ये हमारे लिए अच्छा होता है हम जो government जाते हैं वहीं आएगी. मैं यहाँ पे vote देने आई हूँ मैं very first time vote दे रही हूँ. मैं बहुत खुश हूँ यहाँ पे और public बहुत ज़्यादा है यहाँ पे vote देने के लिए और vote हमारा right है सबको vote देना चाहिए. One of the most basic things that's been taught to us since we're growing up. that india is a democratic country and we need to vote to a person i know most people don't usually come out in the morning to vote but it's 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 we should actually we are really proud, proud. to be the first, first time, time voters first. and actually we would like to say that nice. every person who is turning 18 this year he or she should definitely come and vote because every vote counts yeah it does make a difference so every girl or boy they should vote because it's our duty and responsibility so every person should vote it does make a difference ye mera pehla vote hai aur mere ko vote dal ke bahut acha laga क्योंकि मेरे वोट से देश का कुछ भला हो सकता है और हर एक वोट जरूरी है मेरा पहला वोट है और चाहे ये नेशनल इलेक्शन नहीं है और ये दिल्ली इलेक्शन है बट मैं दिल्ली का नागरिक हूँ तो मेरे लिए मेरे इमीजिएट सराउंडिंग्स ज़्यादा इम्पोर्टेंट है इन द इवनिंग एज सून एज पोलिंग टाइम एंड द पोलिंग ऑफिशियल सील द ई वी एम मशीन अंडर द रिस्पेक्टिव प्रिजाइडिंग ऑफिसर्स कंट्रोल The process is meticulous and care is taken to seal it properly so that no tampering can be done. Once the machines are sealed, they are taken to the assembly's strong rooms under security and kept there till the day of counting, which was to be done on 11th February 2020. At last, the day of reckoning came. Amidst rising tensions and expectations, the day of counting and declaration of results there was tight security at all the counting centers special arrangements were made for smooth and accurate counting of votes it started with the opening and counting the postal ballot papers after that the evm machines were brought out and assigned to the designated tables the whole process was witnessed by the representatives from contesting parties from barricaded arena in the room Media centers were organized for on the spot communication. Every hour they were given the counting status through ECI website and voter helpline app. CEO Delhi arranged to display the status of result through 250 digital screens in Connaught Place and post offices besides that four big screen that were placed at Khan Market, CEO office, NDMC building and EDMC headquarters. By evening counting in various rounds were done and the names of the winning candidates were announced by the returning officer of the respective constituencies It may not be an exaggeration to say that the country's fiercely argumentative and vibrant democracy has emerged as a role model for many countries across the world This year teams from Myanmar Cambodia and Kyrgyzstan came to have a first hand experience of the electoral process they were taken to dispatch centers polling stations and also at counting centers to have a look at the electoral process elections in india are a management wonder and organizing such an event on a mammoth scale is truly epic next day The reports from all the constituencies were received by CEO Delhi and a final outcome of the elections was prepared. As per the practice, the report was formally submitted to the Lieutenant Governor of Delhi. Thus ended the story of Delhi Legislative Assembly elections. Another successful mission accomplished. Voters are the backbone of democracy and CEO Delhi is continuously striving to achieve 100% turnout. Laurel a part of CEO history they accept in its full humility office of the CEO Delhi is grateful to election commission of india for its constant support guidance and inspiration to achieve great excellence in the management of elections we are also grateful to all the civic staff police officials civic forces and other partners for their immense contribution in conducting this election so well Finally we salute the Delhi ka dabang that is the voter of Delhi 
for making the elections truly participative and festive.